The new Kohler Command 18 and 20 horsepower twin cylinder engines are built with an entirely new carburetor supplied by Key and Seeky Manufacturing Company. Their design and function is somewhat different than the Kohler and Walbro carburetors used in the past, so we would like to familiarize you with them. The purpose of any carburetor is to mix air and fuel in a combustible ratio that will allow the engine to deliver peak performance. The new key in carburetors have demonstrated that they can deliver very consistent, outstanding results. The carburetors are made up of many components, but for our purposes we will divide them into three functional systems. The float system, the slow circuit, and the main circuit. The float system maintains a constant level of fuel in the fuel well inside the carburetor body. Fuel is delivered to the carburetor under low pressure from gravity or a fuel pump. The flow into the carburetor is controlled by the fuel inlet needle, which is actuated by the float in the fuel well. When the engine is at rest, the buoyant force of the float is balanced against the fuel inlet pressure. The inlet needle is held against the seat preventing fuel from entering the carburetor. When the engine is running and fuel is being consumed, the inlet pressure will exceed the force of the float and fuel will flow in until it reaches the desired preset level. At that point, the float pressure will again offset inlet pressure to stop the fuel flow at the inlet needle. The slow circuit is used to operate the engine at slow speeds. When the engine is running at idle and the throttle plate is closed, downward movement of the piston creates vacuum in the area below the throttle plate. The idle port is within this area, so there is also vacuum present in the slow circuit passages which are connected to that port. Air is drawn in through the slow air jet and fuel is drawn in through the main jet and then the slow jet. The amounts of both air and fuel are metered by the size of the jets. The air and fuel are mixed in the body of the slow jet and exit to the transfer port. The transfer port delivers the air-fuel mixture to the idle progression pocket where it is further metered through the idle port passage. The idle mixture screw then controls the flow into the throat of the carburetor. In the throat, the mixture blends with the main body of air for delivery to the combustion chamber. The idle progression holes are located just above the idle port. When the throttle plate is closed at idle, they are above the plate. As soon as the operator begins to accelerate, however, they are exposed to the vacuum and release additional fuel and air mixture into the main body of air in the throat. This helps to prevent any stumble or hesitation and allows a smooth transition from the slow circuit to the main circuit. The main circuit is activated as the engine continues to accelerate off of idle. As the throttle plate opens, the increased flow of air through the throat of the carburetor creates a vacuum in the venturi, which draws on the main circuit. The main circuit works much the same as the slow circuit. Air is drawn in through the main air jet and fuel is drawn in through the main jet. The air and fuel are mixed in the emulsion tube, which is very similar to the slow jet in the slow circuit. A short transfer port transfers the mixture to the main nozzle, which carries the mixture into the venturi. In the venturi, the mixture blends with the main body of air, and the final mixture is delivered to the combustion chamber. The quality and precision of key and carburetors is outstanding and an excellent match with the Kohler V-Twin engines.